Tooley with Brian Tooley Racing. I'm here today to discuss our new shaft mount rocker system. The system utilizes the uh, stock rockers rather than roll rockers. Uh, stock rockers obviously lighter, RPMs better, uh, typically plenty strong for any application. Uh, the fastest hydraulic roller combinations in the world all use stock rockers. Um, and really what this is is kind of a, an evolution of the uh, trunnion itself. Uh, early on we had a you know, the 8620 uh, carburized steel um, trunnion kit. We eventually went to a larger spot face to get more oil down around the bearings and then we eventually went to our V2 trunnion kit that has the uh, inner races made from 52100 bearing steel. Uh, this shaft system uses, uh, these shafts are solid 52100 steel so it's bearing steel and um, so and you'll notice that each pair of rockers, rather than only having the two bolts to fasten them down, this has five bolts uh, for the for the pair. Um, I have with me today Caleb Wisher, who's the design engineer who uh, came up with this, designed this. Uh, Caleb uh, started doing uh, consulting work uh, with us in uh, January 2017. He's been uh, full time with us in product development since June 2018, and uh, I'll let you take it from there. All right. So uh, obviously we have a spindron here, um, so we do, uh, we've do. we done quite a bit of spindron testing and uh, we, uh, we were seeing a lot of deflection issues, in particular with LS engines um, that we were, uh, we were trying to track down. Uh, we had tried numerous different things with uh, different valve train, um, uh, different camshafts, different, different valve train tricks to try to, uh, to try to calm down the deflection that we were seeing, but we, we weren't having much luck. Um, so we ended up, uh, we ended up coming up with the idea for the uh, shaft mount rocker system because um, obviously we know that those work well in, uh, in other applications. Um, so we, uh, we actually started out with, uh, with a stand, uh, the exact stand I have here, uh, made out of aluminum. And uh, we saw a little bit less deflection, but uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a much, as much as we would have liked to have seen. And, uh, but we knew we were on the right track because we actually finally saw a, a change in deflection. Uh, so then we went ahead and made it out of the steel. And that was when we actually, uh, we actually cut valve balance in half from where we had started at, which was a, uh, which was a huge gain. Uh, I think that was one of the biggest things we'd actually seen in, uh, in deflection control on an LS engine um, out of all the things we've done on the spin drum so far. So uh, we, uh, we'd had really good luck with our V2 trunnion uh, but, uh, with the 5200 steel like Brian was saying and uh, we knew we were going to use that for the shafts for sure and uh, we also wanted something that was affordable, uh, use the stock rocker and something that we could sell to a customer and they can assemble it just like they do our trunnion kits now which, uh, which are a big seller. Um, so. That was uh, that was pretty much the uh, the idea and the ideology behind it that uh, that created the BTR shaft rocker system. And something I'd like to say is uh, this system uh, complete the stands, all the shafts, the bearings, the fasteners, everything you need to just simply install your stock rockers on this kit is in the three hundred dollar range, which is a super super bargain for what it is. <laughs>